So here we're showing you an example of a typical packing conveyor. You can see the boxes are coming down the conveyors before they're automatically packaged and then shipped out. You're going to see we have an, uh, an audit function that happens through the RFID tunnel as it reads it. So far three packages have come down. Now we're expecting to see 10 units in each package and we're seeing 11. But not only do we see 11 units in the package, but we also saw two part numbers or two different units inside the package. Not expecting to see that. So we're going to audit and see where our problem is at. And I have an RFID enabled table. So I'm going to run the function. And as you can see, when I run the audit, not only am I seeing a count of 11, which triggered over there on the conveyor line, but I also see that I have two different ID numbers in here. So that's a problem. I expect to see 10 white shirts and I now have one that's wrong color so I think that's we've identified our problem. So I'm going to remove that and now when I rerun the audit you see that I have count of 10 that's what I expect. I expect to see one ID number in there so now we're good. So now that we've validated our package and ran it back through and, and sealed it we're now building that package uh, into a pallet load and ultimately into a shipment. We basically put a RFID label on which signifies and aggregates the products inside of the box. We also are associating it to a shipment load and then ultimately to the pallet that it goes on. So RFID can automate that. One, multiple technologies uh, for RFID can be in use. In this case, we're using an overhead reader, which is an array reader. But we can also do the aggregation and validation on a shrink wrap machine. And then from there, we're gonna move on to the shipping. When we do the shipment here, we're gonna load it on the truck. The portal is going to read these two tags and associate the content, and we will do that for verification. When we drove through the portal, we captured the container label, which is reusable when the dunnage is returned. We captured the shipping label, one-time use, and its content. You can use that for verification or to send to your back-end ERP system.